Hello, my name is Cyprian Concilio, and welcome to Music and Mission. Tonight I'd like to share with you two new songs that I've written that have pretty deep spiritual resonance with me, which I'll tell you about, and I hope you'll enjoy them. This first song is called New Heavens and a New Earth. This is this fascinating phrase that gets mentioned three times in Scripture, once in the prophet Isaiah, once in the second letter of Peter, and once almost at the end of the Bible in the book of Revelation. God says to the prophet Isaiah, I'm going to create a new heaven and a new earth. Peter says, in Christ we await a new heaven and a new earth. And the book of Revelation, the seer says, I saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down. It's just fascinating. One of the explanations for this that I've heard is from the renowned scripture scholar N.T. Wright. He says, we keep thinking that we're going to heaven, but actually the way scripture lays it out, it's heaven who's coming to earth. It's heaven who's coming to us. Even that beautiful phrase, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven adorned like a bride. One of my mentors used to say, we keep thinking we have to climb this ladder to heaven. We better be careful. We're going to bump into God on the way down <laughs> because we're all about incarnation and God coming to us too. That's a promise that gives us hope. And somehow, nothing ever gets lost in this great economy of God. The new heavens and a new earth, all things will be made new. And then Paul says, God will be all in all. So I'll sing the first verses are from Isaiah, the second verse is from Peter, and the last verse is from the book of Revelation. Then I end with my own little interpretation and take on it. New heavens and a new earth. I will create a new heaven I will build a new earth The former things are fading away Something new is coming to birth Still the sound of your weeping No more need for distress See the ox and the wolf, the lion and lamb Graze together in peace We await a new heaven, we await a new earth. The former things are fading away, something new is coming to birth. So then strive to be peaceful and give goodness its place. Salvation comes, so patiently wait and grow in wisdom and grace. I have seen the new heavens, I have seen the new earth, the former things fading away, something new is coming to birth, new heavens and a new earth, new heavens and a new earth, the former things are fading away, something new is coming to birth. Wipe away every tear, no more mourning today. No pain, no grief, no reason to cry, such things faded away. Dare to dream a new heaven, work to build a new earth. The former things are fading away, something new is coming to birth. Heavens and a new earth, new heavens and a new earth. The former things are fading away, something new is coming to birth. New heavens and a new earth, new heavens and a new earth. The former things are fading away, something new is coming to birth. New heavens and a new There's so much hope in those scripture passages. 
There's a difference between optimism and hope, you know. Optimism, as Cornell West says, is a secular construct. It looks like things are going well and calculation of probability. Hope is something deeper. It's this deep down conviction, as St. Paul says, that God will be all in all. In the end, God will be all in all. And if God is in all in all, it's not the end yet. That's the seed that never dies in us, that hope. And one other song I'd like to share with you. This is called, Are You Ready to Drink the Cup That I Drink? This is this line that Jesus says to James and John when their mother has asked that they could sit his right hand and his left. And he says, are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you ready to be baptized in my death? You can share the glory, but you've got to get there first. You've got to share the cross first. And what it made me reflect on is this other theme that's grown very important for me, always trying to make that connection between Eucharist and service. In the Gospel of John, we almost see that the entrance ticket to the feast is the washing of feet. <laughs> and then afterwards, and we celebrate this in our liturgy, the last words the presider says to us is, go. <laughs> At that point, we're supposed to go and we're supposed to be broken and we're supposed to be poured out. This intimate connection between Eucharist and service, it's our entrance ticket and it's also our traveling papers. We have to recover that connection. Adoration is a wonderful thing, but that adoration is supposed to spark in us this energy to be broken and to be poured out for the sake of the world. We can't share the resurrection without that either. We know that for a fact. So this is a little reflection on, on that line from Jesus, are you ready to drink this cup? Are you willing to be baptized? Well, then give your life, give your life over for the world. Go be Eucharist. Are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you willing to be baptized in my death? Drink this cup, be baptized, give your life for the world. This bread that I will give you is my healing for the world. And the wine that I will offer is my very life outpoured? Are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you willing to be baptized in my death? Drink this cup, be baptized, give your life for the world. If I, your Lord and Master, have done such things for you, my friends and my disciples, so you must also do. Are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you willing to be baptized in my death? Drink this cup, be baptized, give your life for the world. Whatever act of kindness that you show the least of these, the hungry, poor, and lonely, you have surely done for me. Are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you willing to be baptized in my death? Drink this cup, be baptized, give your life for the world. As grain that once was scattered on the hills is now made one, may the Holy Church bear witness to the reign of God now come. Are you ready to drink the cup that I drink? Are you willing to be baptized in my death? Drink this cup, 
be baptized, give your life for the world. Lord Jesus, make us your living presence in this world. Make us like yeast in the dough, salt of the earth, that we may be your Eucharist, your thanksgiving to the Father that becomes service for our sisters and brothers, especially the most poor and the lonely. Make us the beacons of your hope, the bearers of your peace, the tenders of your love. May we always be a light to the world. In your name, amen. Thank you for joining us today. Blessings be upon you.